Hello everybody, today we are going to be looking at a Clo 3D asset and learning how to level it up from something that looks pretty average like this to something that looks a little bit more high quality, true to life like this. We're going to look at a few basic things like particle distance, avatar placement, avatar hand placement, we're going to look at fabrication, thickness, we're going to talk about the importance of symmetry and just learn how from a pretty high level to level up the quality of your Clo 3D work. So let's get started. All right, so here we have a basic t-shirt. As you can see, it's already been arranged around the avatar and I took the liberty of stitching it up to keep this short. Let's go ahead and simulate it. And as you can see, it's fine, but it doesn't look that great. It doesn't fit the greatest and it's a little bit wobbly, kind of wonky and, and not very smooth. So let's start by looking at the avatar. This is usually my first step once I've assembled a garment. I go to the avatar, male V2, pose and I put the arms by the side because I think that just looks nicer generally. A um, little bit better, still not very convincing. So the next thing I do is look at fabrics. I go to fabric. I usually grab a jersey, a jersey knit, um, so we can scroll down and find, let's see, jersey cotton knit. That works great. We can just put it over here and we can apply it to the body. I think didn't do much here, you can tell yet, um, and we'll get that to that in a minute, but I think jersey generally is a pretty good choice for uh, just knit tee, gives the right amount of drape. And then I also want to go to um, fabric again, and I want to find a rib knit, a rib one by one or two by two knit. I feel like they have pretty good structure, and um, it just, it the right one I feel like it just makes it a little bit crisper so let's grab that rib two by two knit let's apply it to the collar um, let's also go ahead and click on it and delete the texture in normal maps we don't really need them we're just trying to make a basic shape here we can always go back and apply things later and this is kind of what we have still not that great Let's go ahead and hide the avatar just so you can kind of get a better view of everything. Um, another thing I like to do generally with collars is strengthen them. As you can see, it just kind of helps give it a little bit more structure, makes it look a little bit more like it would in the real world. And then a big part here is lowering the particle distance. The particle distance essentially is referring to the amount of polygons that this, this 3D model has. The more polygons, the lower particle distance, the nicer it's going to look. So at 20, 20 right here, it's not going to look that nice. But if we take everything down to 8, somewhere between 5 and 10, um, we simulate again. As you can see, the stripe is already getting much, much better, much smoother. So we're getting there, right? It's a little bit better. Um, the next thing I like to do is look at thickness. As you can see, the collar is about the same thickness as the shirt right now. We don't like that. We know in the real world, the collar would be um, thicker than the shirt because it would be made out of a rib, rib knit that has some you know, dimension to it versus just a very thin fabric. So you can definitely go and adjust the material itself. So if we wanna to go to the rib, we can go all the way down to detail and we can adjust the material, maybe make it two, two or three. Um, but another thing that you can do is you can adjust the rendering thickness of a piece, of a piece itself, which is sometimes nicer if you don't want to affect everything with this material. And you can set this to, you know, one, two, three, depending on what you're looking for. And now you can see that we have that little bit of a lip, which makes it look a lot more realistic. So we're definitely getting there. Um, it's already looking more convincing. Here, I'll show you on a person. It's just better. So, one of the last things that I like to do when I'm trying to level up the quality of a garment, and again, this is just going for a basic garment like this, there's a lot of things that you can do when you start getting into button downs and things like that, which I actually am going to show next, but just sticking to the T here for those people that want the high level, um, is you can just make sure it's symmetrical. So I like to do that by deleting the side that I like the least. Let's say I'm a really big fan of how this looks, this drape. We're gonna go symmetric pattern with sewing. 
right click on the piece, symmetric pattern with sewing. We're gonna duplicate it. And then we're just going to bring it over to the garment as close to the position as possible. That way there's not a lot of room for it to change drape. Um, when you actually simulate it, we are going to make sure everything stayed stone. And it did because I built this garment with symmetry. By that I mean what you do over here will affect what you do over here. And what you do here will affect what you do over here. So because I did that, everything stayed sewn, which is pretty nice. So we're just going to go ahead and simulate it. So now we have a pretty much exact copy of the sleeve on either side. Um, we can also do that for the body, which helps because you just get that really nice clean symmetry. So what we are going to do is cut the middle. We are going to delete the side we like the least. And we are going to do symmetric pattern with sewing. Again, bringing it as close as we can to where we want it, just so there's not a lot of room for it to move and change the drape. We are going to make sure that everything is still sewn and it looks like it is. The only thing that might need to be re-sewn is the collar here because the collar was not built with symmetry. So let's go ahead and re-sew that really quick. Let that, let that go. And then we are going to simulate. So pretty, pretty even, pretty symmetrical. You can always tweak a little bit, um, but you can't really tell with the lighting. I suppose we can just look at it with a render view. But it's definitely better. We're gonna go ahead, right click on the edge, merge them. And a question someone might have is, well, can you just do unfold with symmetric sewing or unfold with symmetric editing? And you can. Um, what will happen is it won't really, it won't really accomplish what we're trying to accomplish because when you unfold it, with symmetric editing, it looks like this. So this is a great tool for beginning of a garment when you're starting to demonstrate or show the, um, sorry, build the pattern. But for this trip by tip I like to do, it does not work. So once you have everything set, make sure everything is merged. You can do the same on the back. And now you have a really nice, clean, symmetrical tee. Um, I'm not going to do the back because I want to keep this video short, but that's looking pretty good. You can apply your internal lines by going offset internal line, making it the length that you, the distance that you want the top stitching. You can do that here, you can do that here, and also on the hem of the sleeve. You could also do it on the collar. And then if you want to, go ahead and apply your top stitching. I already did. Um, so it's in here, but you would just click on the internal line that you just made and it would show up, which helps a little bit. So those are the big things I like to do. Again, this is a very simple garment we're demonstrating it on. So take this with a grain of salt, but those are typically my, my main things I try to hit when I'm leveling up the quality of a garment. Um, let's go ahead and do a quick render of this to really see how it's gonna look. Okay, <laughs> sorry for that delay, here it goes. And it's looking better, it's looking better. So we can definitely do more. We can lower the quality even more to five, which is about the lowest I would go. Um, but as you can see, it will make everything just a tiny bit smoother, the wrinkles just a tiny bit more convincing. So. If you, your computer can support that, um, definitely should try to go as low as you can, as long as you're keeping the seam in close. If you're exporting it to a different software, you might wanna rethink that. But here is your t-shirt. Now, uh, it's looking much better, as you can see. And if you put a render backdrop on it by going into this button and then some sort of color or backdrop, you get a lot higher quality of a garment. Um, and then you can also render it on the avatar if you'd like, and you can kind of see how it looks on a body. But those are my basic tips for how to elevate the quality of a simple garment. Um, just to reflect, we like to look at the right material. We like to add thickness. We like to make sure the avatar is down in an arms by side pose. Um, and we like to make sure the protocol distance is between five to 10, lower the better, remember. 
So thank you guys for watching. I'm definitely going to keep expanding on this with more complicated styles. I'm going to show a button down next, but that is a very basic, um, very basic tutorial on how to elevate your assets. Thank you.